Okay, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a seamless uh, MIDI loop of sliding notes. Now, I'll tell you what I mean by a sliding note. A sliding note basically occurs in a, in a, in a monosynth when you start playing the next note before you've let go of the previous note and it um, it kind of slides either up or down to, to that pitch. So I'll show you, show you what I mean here. That's a sliding note. It's almost it's imperceivable, but I'll show you how that compares to a non-sliding note. And if I go to sliding notes, there, sliding notes. Okay. Now you'd think that might be straightforward to do in a loop, and here's here's an example of of, of a loop that I've that I've just pre-programmed in. You can have a look at it here. There we go. A real um, simple uh, loop. And I'm just going to so that's not sliding there. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip over some of the, some of the, um, uh, steps here because I can jump jump straight to another example here. How to make a slide. So what I've done here with slide is I have um, started. Um, well, the notes are in exactly the same place, but what I do, I just uh, extrapolate. So, so previously, my previous clip there. Um, my note would have finished and then the next one started. But the way you establish a sliding note is you just you don't let go of the previous note. So there we go. Each previous note just carries on a bit um, past the next note. And that's what makes you slide. Let's play it again. Right, so that sounds... Um, you think that would be straightforward. But what, you do, what occurs here... Let me just get rid of this synth. Is that every time the, the loop restarts, you get the the pre the, the the start note has a little twang because it's not sliding. That is going straight to the next note, and and that's where you lose your slide. There we go. So you can hear it twang. What we want to achieve is this. Yeah. So that's what I mean by a, a, a seamless loop. And the way you achieve that is quickly here. Um, in fact, let me skip showing you how it results. So I'm going to take this. This is our um, actual, that's our twanging one there. What you do, I'm just going to duplicate it to show you what I mean. Work with the duplicate one. What you do is this, okay? Highlight all of your notes. Just move them on a little bit so you've got some room to play with. Um, move your move your loop points there. So this is this is our loop. There we go. All you've got to do is you extend the last note there um, and you have you place it also here. There we go. And you carry it on just a bit past there. And now and that's how we do it. Um took me a while to find that. But now you've got a nice kind of seamless loop without that little twang at the front. Obviously you might want the twang at the front, that's fine, but if you just want to achieve this kind of um, sliding sli seamless loop, that's how you do it. So uh, thank you very much.